This is From Nothing to Gloves with Profitable Trade-Ups. The series where I started with zero dollars and will be using nothing but profitable trade-ups to get myself a pair of gloves. If you missed any of the previous episodes, make sure to check those out, but to quickly recap, our goal is set at $1,500 to get ourselves a pair of factory new Imperial plaid gloves to go with the rest of my purple loadout. We ended the last episode with $244.48 in our balance. Let's get into the trade-ups. Last episode was insane. After eight episodes of getting destroyed by our trade-ups, we finally made some great profit. Not to mention, it was the first time I've ever successfully hit a Temu Cow trade up, and today I plan to keep the ball rolling. You guys know how much I like 50-50 trade ups, and I know how much you like them too. So today, both of the contracts I have prepared are 50-50s with the potential to make us a boatload of profit. But not only that, both of these trade ups are for print streams, one of the best skins in the entire game. We're going to start the day off by doing a few trade ups for the Stat Track Minimal Wear Desert Eagle, and end it off by going for the $300 Stat Track Factory new USPS print stream. Buckle up. Before I get into it, today's sponsor GamerPay wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 fade for example. Currently the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. This first trade up consists of one Stat Track Minimal Wear and nine Stat Track Field Tested Classified skins from the Fracture Case below a 0.1875 average float. The easiest way to do this is by getting the Stat Track Minimal Wear skins below a 0.09 float and the Stat Track Field Tested skins below a 0.198 float. Make sure to get the Stat Track Minimal Wear skin for $8.09 or less and the Stat Track Field Tested skin for $4.87 or less. This trade up costs $51.92 total and has a 108.38% profitability after Steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. The AK-47 Legion of Anubis is a $27 loss, but the Desert Eagle is over $35 of profit. Let's hit some deagles. First trade up of the video, and the first trade up tells us a lot about how the day is going to go. Show us the Desert Eagle print stream. Three, two, one, deagle! Uh, not a great start. Hopefully that doesn't mean this is a day of bad things to come. Let's do a few more of these. Trade up number two, just let us see the print stream. Black and white on my screen in three, two, one, boom. That's really not good. That's back to back Legion of Anubises. Not what we want to see at all. But you know what? If we're having bad luck on this trade up, maybe we'll have better luck with the USPSs. Let's do a couple more of these though. What's it gonna be? Pray with me, Desert Eagle in three, two, one, boom! No absolute way. Like, can we not do this? Like, Gaben is such a hater, man. This feels like the Temu Cow trade up all over again. If I hit four AKs in a row on a 50 50, I'm going to be really upset. Like, really thoroughly upset. Fourth and final attempt for the Desert Eagle print stream. Please just show it to me. Please. I swear, if we lose $100 on the first trade up, that is going to be absolutely bonkers. I will not accept that. Three, two, one, Desert Eagle! There's absolutely no way. Like, how is that even possible? We miss four 50-50s in a row. I swear, we better see at least one USPS print stream. No, more than that. More than that. This next trade up consists of 10 Stat Trek Minimal Wear classified skins from the recoil case below 0.0823 average float. Make sure to get each input for $9.80 or less. This trade up costs $98 total and has a massive 148.65% profitability after Steam fees, with, of course, a 50% chance to profit each time. This trade up is so insane because the op chromatic aberration is only a $50 loss, but the USPS is nearly a $150 profit. Please, Gaben, show us some print streams. Boys, we only have one shot at this. If we miss it, we won't have enough money in the balance to do another. We need to see the USPS. And after those last trade-ups, we deserve it. Three, two, one, boom! Let's go, baby! We hit the USPS, come on! That's $150 of profit right there. Let's go, come on, we're back, we're back. And we're doing another one. Gaben, please show us the USPS. I want to see a USPS in three, two, one, boom! Come on, man. Like, what even is that? Terrible, terrible. It's okay, though. We're hitting it on the next one. We hit one, and we missed the second. And now, we have some sticker luck on the third. Show us the USPS right now! 
I have no words. I just have absolutely no words. Like, I think Gaben is out to get me, really. Let's see what we get on the last attempt. The fourth and final attempt for the USPS print stream. I would say that we should hit it because we have a 50-50 chance and we already hit two ops, but we all saw how that first contract went. I'm not even gonna sit here and ask. I'm just gonna click. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go! Let's go! I honestly didn't think it was hitting. I had no faith whatsoever, but we hit it. Let's go. That makes up for all of the other misses in the video. I'm not even upset. Let me do the math and see how much money we're sitting at now. After all was said and done, we ended up with a balance of $327.48, which means we profited exactly $83 on the episode. You know what? Even though we had some atrocious luck on those first trade-ups, we made it back on the second one. Can't be too upset, man. Profit is profit. Profit. We should have made more, but it is what it is. Cannot complain. Hopefully, we'll come back with a vengeance in the next episode. And if you know me, you know I will be trying those Deagle trade-ups again. So stay tuned. By the way, guys, I do giveaways every week in my Discord server. So check out the link to that in the description below. Come join us, man. We're always chilling in there. There's over 3,000 members, and we're always just in there having a good time. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.